Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're checking out Travel the Words. Now this is a crossword puzzle essentially in virtual reality and it's available on App Lab. So there are multiple crossword puzzles available and what I like about this is as you're playing, for example, we're looking for these words over here. Let's see if we can find any of them. There's banana. believe that humans share about 50% of our DNA with bananas? So there's these little fun facts for each of the clues. Conquistadors used avocados to produce ink. They discovered the seeds secreted a liquid that turns red after exposure to air. And the world is pretty cool. So we're in a marketplace. Uh, you can change the ambiance if you want. So we could just get down to business if we wanted to. We could do that. Uh, we've got carrot right here. Carrots actually come in many colors. They may be found in natural shades of white, yellow, and even a deep purple. And I like that in addition to just being a crossword puzzle, Kiwis originate you kind of learn. But are now grown and eaten all over the world. So we've got pear, we've got, let's see here, peas right there. The oldest pea was found in Thailand. It was 3,000 years old. We've got peach. Although peaches are now grown all over the world in warm areas, the original peach came from China thousands of years ago. Tomato. Even after tomatoes have been harvested, they will keep gaining weight as they keep on ripening. Papaya. There are two types of papayas, the Hawaiian and Mexican varieties. Let's see here, orange. Did you know that approximately 85% of all oranges produced are used for juice? A little bit of a backward pumpkin there. Did you know pumpkins can grow everywhere in the world except for Antarctica? Onion. In the Middle Ages, onions were an acceptable form of currency and was used to pay rent for goods and services and even given as gifts. Now we've got coconut over here. Various tribes have actually used coconut fibers over the centuries to construct robust armor. And I don't know if you noticed, but there's even the little icons of each item, which is pretty cool there. An aubergine plant produces an average of 110 no. aubergines. I don't think I've ever had an aubergine, so that's cool to know. There's pear. There are over 3,000 varieties of pears grown around the world. And we've got grapes right there. Did you know that grapes have been around for 65 million years? We've got two left, I believe. We've got apple and cherries. And the funny thing is, oh wait, lemons right here. Lemons not on that list. Let's see what happens. We found a bonus word. So with the bonus word, it turns into this mini game where you're actually trying to shoot the letters, kind of like Space Invaders or Galaga. It doesn't really fit with the uh, theme of the crossword puzzle, but it's a fun diversion. Got bananas attacking us right now. It's pretty silly. Oh, just uh, there we go. So what that's done is added to our score at the top there. Still need apple, which is probably staring me in the face, and cherries. So here's cherries. Cherries were used for their 
medicinal purposes in the 15th and 16th centuries. They are known to slow aging and ward off various chronic illnesses. Now I need to find apples. And that's really the last one left. We could get a hint. I know there's a hint somewhere. Fun facts are on. Uh, but I don't like hints. I like to actually find things. So hopefully we'll be able to find this fairly quickly here and move on. Uh, our score does kind of go down as time goes on. There it is. trees can live to be about 100 years old. It takes four to five years to produce their first fruit. Now obviously you can go through much faster than I just did. Um, four minutes with all the talking and everything else that I did is how that works. You can shuffle and play again or in my case what I'm going to do is move on. There are multiple levels. So we're on, we did the market. We've got Sweet Treat, The Mines, Ship Shape, Starry Night, Fine Art, Medieval Times, Wild West, The Library, The Kitchen, Japan, and City Life. So there's a ton of different puzzles. I've never done City Life, so let's check this one out. And you travel the words in the Big Apple. Now the other thing I wanted to mention is, in addition to the full game that I'm playing right now, there is a demo available for this, so if you're just interested in chilling and doing a puzzle, that demo is available. I think it's got only one, maybe two of the uh, puzzle environments, uh, but it does randomize. Umbrella originates from the Latin word umbros, which means shadow or shade. And because I haven't done this one, I don't even know what words to look for. Like, I'm looking on the side here to try to get an idea of what to look for over here. Now let's just look at the environment a little bit. We are in a city. It is raining. Uh, this seems to be the same city that lots of other games use. Um, but, you know, that's totally fine. It's still a world um, around this puzzle, and I think that's really cool that this type of a game honestly works pretty well in virtual reality. So we've got pavement right here. Asphalt is the most preferred paving material because it is cheap, highly recyclable, and does not pollute the air or the environment. I don't see club, but let's try that. There we go, it's a bonus word, of course. So hitting them with the uh, cones, that's pretty cool. Got hit there. Person kind of walking, it looks like. Do. One more to go. There we go. Let's see here. So billboard office. Just try to shout out the words so that I don't uh, forget what, what I'm looking for here. Manhole. <laughs> a manhole cover can teleported down right there. Biscuit. Now what it I notice is on this one, it doesn't give you the shopping list hole, with the little items on the side. Going underground if they are not allowed to. So I am curious if I turn off the fun facts over here, if it'll make me focus more. Uh, I've never done that because again, I've I've never done this particular level. I played probably three quarters of the puzzles but not this one so let's see if if turning off the fun facts helps uh we'll also turn off the ambiance just for a moment see if that changes anything doesn't really seem to so 
we'll leave that on. Let's see here. Wow, this is really tough. I'm looking for words that aren't there and finding words that should be. But I really do like the different environments. It's like it looked like it said train there, but it was not. Uh, let's see. Taxi. Just trying to find the specific words. X. X's are usually a little bit rarer. I love how it's like populating out different traffic and things of that nature. Traffic signals there. So we've got business, police, subway. There's police. Donut there. That's cool. There's Subway. I'm surprised we hadn't found traffic. It's staring me right in the face. And that's how these games usually are. There's business. Looks like bowling is one of the words as well. Here's billboard. Lots of them just falling there, that's pretty cool. We still haven't found pizza, and that's a pretty short word. There it is. Haven't found cafe yet either. There it is. Now I've got cinema to find. There it is. Still looking for office as well. That's got two F's, so that's easy to find. You see, I get once once I see what the words are. Whoops. I did sky skyscrape, but not skyscraper. So now we're just looking for apartment. That's right here. I'll finish up that puzzle. It took five minutes. We got our little uh, firework explosion there. That's pretty cool. So we'll do one more. Um, I think we'll do the sh ship shape. Let's see the mines. Let's do sweet treats. So, we've got the fun facts turned on for this one. Let's see. I have done this one before, so the words should be recognizable as I do it. Chocolate. Did you know that eating a little dark chocolate every day reduces the risk of heart disease by as much as 30%? There's coffee. Brazil is the world's largest coffee producer. Cake is right there. Oh, it's cupcake. The term cupcake was originally used in the late 19th century for cakes made from ingredients measured by the cupful. Then we've got wafer right here. Can you believe the wafer was available in the streets of Paris as early as the 14th century? There's regular cake. Legend claims that the addition of candles on cakes started in ancient Greece, where cakes were made in a moon shape for the moon goddess Artemis. I'm looking for another one here. A 
there's sugar. Did you know the only taste humans are born craving is sugar? Muffin. The word muffin is thought to be derived from the French word moufle, which was used to describe a soft bread. Here's macaroon. The first macaroons date back to the 8th century Venetian monasteries where they were made as single round cookies with a crunchy outside and soft inside. And toffee? The first toffee recipes called for molasses, which allowed the candies to have a longer shelf life. Cream? Cream is used as an ingredient in many desserts, such as custard bases and cakes. Dessert? According to NASA, the most missed dessert by the astronauts in space is ice cream. Cocoa. Amsterdam is the world's most important cocoa port. Over 500,000 tons of cocoa go through the port every day. Budge. Butter, milk, and sugar are main ingredients needed to make fudge. Then we've got cookie over here. It has been estimated that Santa Claus eats over 300 million cookies on Christmas Eve. And now we're going to go for a bonus word because I see it right here, sweet. Oh, we totally missed the S. There it is. The other thing we didn't really look at was the candy shop environment, so we'll do that before we find donut. Check out this candy shop. We've got cakes and candies. I just, I really like how this game works. Um, and, and again, you wouldn't think doing crossword puzzles or word searches in a. Captain Henson Gregory is the man credited with inventing the classic hole in the middle shape of the modern donut, piercing the middle of the donut on the ship's steering wheel so he could use both hands to steer. In a virtual world like this would be fun, uh, but I definitely dig it. So again, this is Travel the Words. There are multiple puzzles available. There's a demo available. Check out Oculus App Lab for both. I'll put the links in the description of this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.